One of the things that I think a lot of times men in um, martial arts or in combat sports don't consider is, you know, what it feels like to be a woman in martial arts. In jujitsu specifically, it's such a close contact sport that many times when a woman walks through the door and they want to learn or they want to join a gym, it's already a very unnatural environment for us. We know that our safety is in the hands of our training partners. Um, we know that we're in a vulnerable place um, and it can be quite scary. So when I posted the video about, you know, thanks for the role guy, I got a lot of comments and concerns of guys just saying, what if I was just gonna, trying to be nice or, you know, um, you should shoot your shot. Um, and I understand all of that. And I understand that relationships do develop out of jujitsu. Um, and a lot of times you can meet your potential spouse in martial arts. But here's something to consider that you may not have thought of. When a woman walks through those doors, you have no idea why she is looking to do something to defend herself. She could have been a victim of an assault. She could have come from, you know, a bad, a bad environment, a bad relationship. And there's a lot of negative things that she could be trying to overcome and fix when she walks into a martial arts school. So by excessive or unwanted attention, it's gonna make it harder for her to come and train and learn. Every day when she thinks about going to train, she's gonna be thinking about those guys that messaged her or the guys that she rejected. On the flip side of that, some guys don't take rejection very well. And so if she's being constantly hit on by the men that she's training with and she has to reject them, now you're asking her to walk into a room and train with these people and put her safety in their hands. And these are just some of the things that women in jiu-jitsu actually have to face. So it's not just hitting on a teammate or, you know, saying being nice or being flirtatious or shooting your shot. There's a lot that goes into it. If you really are interested in somebody that trains jiu-jitsu and she's a female, get to know her first. Know a little bit about her, about her story, about why she's there. Unwanted attention is never, never appreciated.